Hi boys and girls. I'm so excited. We're almost to the end of our book, The Night at Dawn. So we're gonna find out if Jack and Annie can make it back to the treehouse and make it home pretty soon. Today, we're going to visualize what's happening in the story. So the author does a great job of giving us lots of details so we can make a movie inside our mind of what's happening in the story. We can close our eyes and imagine what everything looks like, what the characters are doing, what it looks like around them. That's called visualizing. And we do that when we listen to our stories. Yesterday, we read chapter eight. And in chapter eight, Jack and Annie were getting out of the moat. I don't know what was following them, but I was not happy about it. And finally, they splashed their way onto the shore. And when they looked up, they saw a knight in armor riding a horse. Did you make a prediction? Do you think the knight is going to be kind and help them? Or do you think the knight is gonna take them to the dungeon? Let's read to find out. Chapter nine is called Under the Moon. Jack froze. Show me frozen. It's him, Annie whispered. The knight held out his gloved hand. Come on, Jack, Annie said. Where are you going, said Jack. He wants to help us, said Annie. How do you know? I can just tell, said Annie. Annie stepped toward the horse. The knight dismounted. That means he got off of his horse. The knight picked Annie up and put her on the back of the horse. Come on, Jack, she called. Jack moved slowly toward the knight. It was like a dream. The knight picked him up too. He placed Jack on the horse right behind Annie. The knight got on behind them. He slapped the reins. The black horse cantered beside the moonlit water of the moat. Jack rocked back and forth in the saddle. The wind blew his hair. He felt very brave and very powerful. He felt as if he could ride forever on that horse with the mysterious night. Over the ocean, over the world, over the moon, a hawk shrieked in the distance. Oh, I love this part for visualizing. In the movie, in my mind, I can see it's dark outside. Annie and Jack and the knight are sitting on the horse. The horse is running toward the woods. I can hear the hawk shrieking in the distance. That would be fun to see. There's the tree house, said Annie. She pointed toward a grove of trees. The knight steered the horse toward the trees. See, there it is, Annie said, pointing to the ladder. The knight brought his horse to a stop. He dismounted and he helped Annie down. Thank you, sir, she said, and she bowed. Can you say that? Thank you, sir. Then Jack, thank you, he said, and he bowed also. The knight got back on his horse. He raised his gloved hand then he slapped his reins and rode off through the mist. Annie started up the tall ladder and Jack followed. They climbed into the dark tree house and looked out the window. What do you think they saw? The knight was riding toward the outer wall. wall. They saw him go, go through the outer gate. Clouds started to cover the moon again. For a brief moment, Jack thought he saw the knight's armor gleaming on the top of a hill beyond the castle. The clouds covered the moon completely and a black mist swallowed the land. He's gone, whispered Annie. So what did the knight do? Did he help Jack and Annie or was he mean? He helped them, he helped them find the tree house. Was your prediction right? He's gone, whispered Annie. Jack shivered in his wet clothes as he kept staring at the blackness. Why are his clothes all wet? Oh yeah, he fell into the moat. <laughs> I'm cold, said Annie. Where's the Pennsylvania book? Jack heard Annie fumble in the darkness. He kept looking out the window. I think this is it, said Annie. I feel a silk bookmark. Jack was only half listening. 
He was hoping to see the knight's armor gleam in the distance. Okay, I'm going to use this, said Annie, because I think it's the right one. Here goes. Okay, I'm pointing. I'm going to make a wish. I wish we could go to Frog Creek. Jack heard the wind begin to blow, softly at first. I hope I pointed to the right picture in the right book, said Annie. What? Jack looked back at her. He wasn't listening before. He didn't make sure that she had the right book. Right picture, right book. The treehouse began to rock. The wind got louder and louder. I hope it wasn't the dinosaur book, said Annie. Stop, Jack shouted at the treehouse. Too late. The treehouse started to spin. It was spinning and spinning. The wind was screaming. Then suddenly there was silence, absolute silence. Oh, that's the end of the chapter. Whoa. Do you think Jack and Annie are at home or do you think Annie picked up the wrong book? It could have been the Pennsylvania book, but it also could have been the dinosaur book. I hope they make it home. We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to find out. For my story timeline card today, my favorite thing to visualize today was when the knight was taking Jack and Annie to the treehouse. I loved visualizing in my mind what it looked like when they were all riding on the horse. Jack felt brave and powerful, so I can imagine that he was sitting up tall. And Annie, she loves animals and they always listen to her, so she was probably looking the same way. And I drew the um, knight taking them to the treehouse. You could also draw Annie making the wish in the book. What did you think was important? This was an exciting chapter. So be thinking about what you want to say was important in this story because now it's your turn to draw and write what happened in chapter nine. I hope you loved this chapter, friends. Talk to you soon.